COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. It has been almost a year since COVID-19 was declared as a global wide pandemic. Since then, everyone suffered from this global event that took the lives of millions around the world. Not just because of the virus directly, but also because how the virus affected the economy, leaving many businesses closed and people not being able to provide for themselves and their families. As the world turned dark, more and more people were forced or even choose to stay inside and quarantine for weeks or even months. But as time goes by, more and more countries have started to open up again. As a result, the number of coronavirus cases around the world once again is soaring to record numbers. Therefore, the need for testing has again moved to the forefront, with some pushing for more rapid antigen-based testing. What not many people know, however, is that such tests have been hampered by less than ideal accuracy. The rapid test works by detecting the nucleocapsid protein that is a part of the coronavirus. These rapid tests are particularly useful for identifying a person who is at or near peak infection. COVID-19 replicates itself by putting its genetic material inside our cells. If a person is being tested at this stage, when the virus is still replicating inside the cells, the coronavirus would produce sufficient protein enough to be detected by antigen testing. Test result will usually determine if someone is able to go outside and be involved in outdoor activities as if it is normal, or if they would need to isolate themselves again. However, if tests would, would have given results that are inaccurate and would produce the result that's false, it will be a bigger issue, as it could increase the number of cases when someone is missing from that they are free from the virus. Luckily, physics have offered us a solution towards that could potentially stop another major issue in this pandemic. Recent studies on magnetic nanoparticles found out that it is able to detect biomolecules of specific kinds. This could include nucleic acids and proteins. Magnetic nanoparticles are a class of nanoparticles that can be manipulated using magnetic fields. It works by taking a sample of a certain fluid from the human body, such as saliva, and then use a magnetic bead to detect the motion of the molecules and determine whether the virus is present or not. To put it in understanding, this is what it looks like during the testing of a certain fluid containing the virus. As both particles bind closer, the magnetic particle will be affected by the presence of the spike protein in the virus that is near, which matches the protein that is put into the magnetic particle before testing. This will cause the magnetic particle to react and create a strong bond strength between both molecules, indicating that the fluid does contain the spike protein of the coronavirus. In this case, the idea would be to implement this technique towards the method of detecting the protein of COVID-19 during testing. As was mentioned before, the issue with the current rapid test inaccuracy is that it is only able to detect the virus protein when it's replicating itself. By using the magnetic sensing particle with the nucleocapsid protein of COVID-19 virus, the method could work just as other detection of particles in a disease and is able to detect whether COVID-19 is present or not even when the virus isn't replicating, which can make the testing more accurate compared to other rapid testing methods. Physics is a knowledge that allows us to connect and create ideas from the most basic concepts. The Gnankern experiment is an essential part of physics that allows us to explore ideas and its outcome using thought experiment of the imagination. This is just one of many results of its outcome and many other significant discoveries was made using this thought process. As problems will keep on appearing in different forms, the application of science will always be there to overcome what is new.